Yo, this is the Queen of Z's Nubia, and this is a very long awaited video where everybody wanted to know how did I go from this to this? So sit back and let's get into the topic. All right, so before we get into the info, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can be notified the next time I do a video. So yes, everybody, I have, I don't want to say I found the secret to the ultimate natural body weight loss, but the program that I created for myself has done wonders for me. And everybody's been asking, Aziza, what are you doing? So I'm like, okay, let me share with you guys. So first things first. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know, I really, you know, I was a bit smaller like this. And then after a few years, got like that. Now, the reason for the weight gain has several factors. New baby, um, different situations in life that brought on a lot of stress. But then I have a little secret, y'all. I have a pica addiction and I have a pica addiction to cornstarch. Yes, that's me right there eating cornstarch. Like, and I can't even watch this video too long. Let me just take it down, take it down because it'll probably make me want some more. And the pica addiction is real. Pica addictions come from a lack of minerals in the body. And so I always have had an anemia issue since I was a little girl and growing up. And that's my body's way of needing iron. So my body has a hard time absorbing iron. Um, and that was pretty one of the major reasons why I really had to take this weight loss situation into, you know, my own hands and really be vigorous and focused on finding out how can I get my body to operate properly because hell everybody knows that cornstarch is a what look at it it's a thickener and so yes it's going to get you thick okay <laughs> so those were the reasons why i had significant weight gain and when i got to the point when i was gaining the weight it really bothered me because i have weight you know i like my body to look a certain kind of way and when it doesn't, that really affects me because I'm always on camera. I'm always talking to people, interviews. And when my body was looking the way it was looking, I didn't want to do none of that stuff. I didn't feel comfortable doing that stuff. So I really had to get some things under control. So I struggled for all of 2020 trying to figure out how can I lose this weight. I tried all types of detox teas. I was exercising, but still having the same issues. Nothing was working. And so I really had to sit down and think about it because this isn't my first weight loss journey. 10 years ago, I went from that to that. So I'm not new to this, but 10 years ago, I was a lot younger versus I am now. So my body makeup is differently. Okay. So let's get into it. What did I do um, to make me lose weight? So starting January, 2021, Okay, we all know 2020 was crazy for us, but 2021, I decided, you know what, I'm about to make some major life changes. So what? I kicked that cornstarch out the door. I said, I can't do that anymore. I have to get my vitamin intake under control. And if there are any ladies out there, if you have pica, where it's an eating disorder that your body is craving minerals, your body needs vitamins. That was the number one thing. My body needed vitamins and it needed a lot of vitamins and it was and even though I was taking vitamins, my body wasn't absorbing vitamins. So the first thing I had to do start in January 2021 was detox, okay? Now, detoxing is nothing, I'm not new to detoxing. I detox very frequently. I try to detox at least once a month, which I advise everybody to detox at least once a month. Detoxing should not be a thing that you do when you want to lose weight. Detoxing should be something that you want to do on a monthly basis because we're constantly bombarded with toxins, not just from the foods that we eat, but from the environment, from the things we put on our skin. So detoxing was essential. So I made a plan that for three weeks, I mean, for one week out of every month, I would detox, okay? And I tried several different detox products. Of course, I sell TLC products. TLC products are great for detoxing. I did the TLC CBDT. 
um, and I still do that once a week. And I love that tea because it helps to clean out the colon, to clean out the digestive tract, which was one of the reasons why my body was having a hard time absorbing, talk, um, I'm sorry, absorbing iron and the minerals and vitamins that I was trying to take. My digestive system, if you got a bunch of junk in there that's not cleaned out, you know, parasites and all types of stuff, it's going to be very, very, very hard, okay, for your body to get the minerals it needs because everything else is blocking it. So I had to detox, okay, and I had to do several detoxes, but the TLC detox was my number one detox that I still do, and I try to do it once a week where I take the tea packets, mix it into water, and drink it, and it really does wonders, okay? Another thing that I did was a parasite cleanse. Now, a lot of people do not like hearing this. Parasites live in our bodies. We have good parasites and we have bad parasites. But nine times out of 10, a lot of us, if you never did a parasite cleanse and if you eat meat and flesh, you have some parasites in you. And parasites can take a lot of the nutrients and vitamins that you put into your body. So I had to do a parasite cleanse, okay? It was really nasty. Now, I took my parasite herbs through pill form because I was not about to drink the tea. Any parasite cleanse that you take will be bitter because parasites don't like bitter stuff. They like sweet stuff. That's why a lot of you guys, when you have sugar cravings, you're craving sugar, you're craving sweets all the time. A lot of times it's the parasites in your body craving it, okay? So I had to do a parasite cleanse. Now I did, I spent three weeks doing a parasite cleanse. And yes, with this cleanse, if you're serious with it, you will see parasites in your bowel movements, but you will notice after you do the parasite cleanse, you feel a lot lighter. You notice that a lot of food cravings go away. Um, you notice that your mind is clearer, which was a big thing. And so that was the number two thing. Another thing that I had to do and I still do. So everything I'm telling you was not stuff that I did and stopped. These are things that I do on a regular basis, okay? Every day is making sure that you're getting water lots and lots of water water is essential y'all i can't tell you how important water is and not just two cups of water or a water bottle you need to make sure you're getting 64 ounces of water or more a day because what the water does is helps flush the toxins out your body okay it helps with bowel movements because a lot of us have weight gain issues because we're not pooping and and, and I don't know what's the proper word for it, so I'm going to just say pooping. <laughs> We're not doing that on a regular basis, especially we need to be pooping three hours after every meal. And a lot of us only poop once a day, if not less, okay? So that water is going to help with a lot of things, okay? water And water is essential. It helps with your heart, blood pressure, all that kind of stuff. The next thing that I had to do while I'm doing all of this detoxing, okay? You got to think detoxing is detoxing your body of nutrients and moving nutrients out the body i had to replenish my body of all those vitamins and nutrients we need on a daily basis 102 essential vitamins and nutrients on a daily basis and most human beings especially on the american diet we get very little nutrients okay and so i had to take sea moss yes sea moss is an amazing amazing product for you to ingest on a daily basis because it gives your body those minerals and vitamins that it needs on a daily basis because our body needs those to function properly so you can't sit there and say okay i'm gonna detox i'm gonna lose this weight but then you're not replenishing your body with the vitamins and nutrients because it's, it's, it's going to be off balance you're not going to lose the weight that you need it and that was something essential because before i would just detox 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 but then i would never replenish my body of the vitamins and nutrients that it needed to function and sea moss was a great vitamin supplement for me the food i really had to change my diet up not because so much i was eating bad but because I needed to eat foods that were essential for my body. So one way I do did that was I had to eat foods that were beneficial for my blood type. And see, a lot of us don't do that. A lot of us follow just a generic diet of food you're supposed to take, but all of us have different blood types. And it's very important that you eat based upon your blood type. Your blood type is very, very important. And so the foods that you're going to be ingesting is some foods that some people with certain blood types can't eat 
or that will have adverse effects of your body. Sometimes you're wondering why you have so many autoimmune disorders and all these issues with your health is because you're eating foods that don't go well with your body's blood type. My blood type is O positive and so I had to eat, change my diet to all these kind of foods right here for O positive blood and I had to get rid of all these other foods that were uh, that that would give bad adverse effects for people with O positive blood. That was a big thing. So those were all the things that I had to take and do to get my health right. Okay. Now, when it comes to you know everybody saying, "Girl, your waist your waist is snatched," you know your legs, your hips coming out. All right. So I had to invest a little bit into my body. So yes, I exercise. I got me a gym membership. Okay, and I use that membership on a daily basis. I make sure I'm in the gym at least three to four times a week. And if I can't go to the gym, I'm doing workouts at home. Exercising was essential. I do no more than an hour of exercise a day at the least, at least 30 minutes, depending on my schedule. So as long as you're getting 30 minutes of exercise in up to an hour, that's great. Another thing that I did and still do is I get body contouring services. So this was something that really helped um, boost up the fat burning because I had, you know, a lot of fat areas that I needed to get rid of and I needed to tighten a lot of skin because I don't have some babies. I got stretch marks. And two, let's be honest, a lot of the reasons why we want to lose weight, one, for our health, but we trying to look good. And I'm sorry, I I'm loving the snatch ways. I don't know if y'all can see it from right here. I'm loving this new body I'm creating. I took up She Is TLC Services. Now I have another video just going into detail on the different type of body services I got and to show you guys what that process is like. But that's what I did. I got Captivation Lipo, RF Skin Tightening, and the Booty Lift Enhancement because your girl was not everything. I'm telling you, when I gain weight, my booty and everything get thick, but as soon as I lose it, it goes away. I got the white girl butt, so I definitely had to get the butt enhancement. And all these services are non-surgical. Um, they're all used with sophisticated technology because technology is good. You know, we can use it for positive purposes and it's doing nothing to harm your body. And what the process does, and I don't want to go too much in detail, but it helps to liquefy and uh, remove fat cells from the body. So I do that twice a week. And yes, it costs. Some people say, oh, that's a whole bill. But I look at it as an investment to myself because what I like, I have a life where I'm in front of the camera, where I'm in front of, in front of people when I'm speaking. And so I got to make sure I invest a lot into this body so people can say, oh, okay, because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was ready. December 2020, I was ready to go get me a BBL and lipo. That's how serious I was. I was I was so defeated. I didn't think I could do it. I did not think I could do it, but I had some great people in my corner saying, girl, you can do it. Just go hard one good time. Go hard one good time. And then you know what I said? I'm gonna go hard. And, I, and sure enough, I went hard and I did it, okay? So here's another thing that I did. Waist training. Ladies, do not sleep on waist training. Waist training is great for your body, but you need to have somebody who can tell you how to do it properly and get you the right products. And so that was one of the services that I got from She Is TLC. She put me into an excellent waist trainer and that waist trainer helped to shape my waist, the contour of my body, the way I wanted it to look. Okay. So waist training was essential. Okay. And so that's pretty much what I did. Detoxing, parasite cleanse, lots of water, eating for my blood type, <laughs> exercise, body contouring services, and waist training. Now, this is the last thing that I did. And this is one of probably the most important things. Like if I didn't do this part right here, and this is essential. If this part was not done, if this part was not done at all, okay? None of the stuff that I did would be working. And this was something that I, I, I had an aha moment about. I was like, wow, this was the in special ingredient. This was the special sauce. Because none of the stuff I'd have been doing would have worked if I didn't do this. I had to mentally prepare my mind to visualize the body that I wanted. One thing I realized on this weight loss journey that I was very hard on myself about how I looked. When I looked in the mirror, 
I was, you know, have negative thoughts about myself. Like, oh, I hate this. Oh, like I had so much negative talk when it came to my body that if we know law of attraction, you create what you feel, you create what you're thinking. And so that was one of the reasons why last year when I was trying so hard to lose weight, nothing was happening because I wasn't mentally seeing me losing the weight. I wasn't mentally affirming that my body is healthy. I wasn't mentally seeing myself. I wasn't mentally loving myself. Every time I looked in the mirror, I hated what I see. So I had to shift. I had to meditate. And that's something that I do every day. I meditate at least five minutes a day on just the perfect body image for me. And that has done so much because now even before I started seeing the results, I had a positive mindset about my body. I had a positive mindset about the weight loss journey. I was confident that I was losing the weight. Even when I didn't see it, I knew it was burning. When I would be working out visual when I would be working out, I would visualize fat cells, you know, shrinking and melting and going away. I had to mentally tell my body what I wanted it to do, what I wanted it to look like. And I guarantee, and I tell you guys, that was probably one of the most important things that I could have done. And nothing I just told you about would not have worked if I didn't do that first. So it's a lifestyle change. This isn't a diet. This is something I'm not going to stop doing. Like I probably, once I get to the point where I'm cool, I probably won't do the body contouring as much, but I'll definitely continue to eat for my blood type, drink the waters, detox, do parasite cleanses at least twice a year. And, you know, be, think positive about my body image. Think positive about my body. And of course, as well as exercising as well. Um, a lot of the products that I did mention in this video are available in the Natural Woman Shop, especially our sea moss, and we have new flavors for sea moss, so make sure you check that out. That's my journey, and that's my story. So I hope this video helped you guys know what was my secret, what did I do, and I'm going to keep continuing to take you guys on this weight loss journey for me to show you how and what I'm doing, what's working, what's not working, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Make sure you hit up my Linktree app to connect with me as well. Let me see. Is there anything else? No. I thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. But until next time, y'all, peace.